is a healer. I do believe it. Jesus is a healer. And he heals all the time. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. There's no need to be afraid. Jesus is a healer. And he heals all the time. He's a healer. You got some prayer requests, handmaiden, about your brother who just diagnosed with cancer. He's being healed right now in the name of Jesus. God is breaking the curse of cancer right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. God is breaking the curse of cancer in the name of Jesus. Touch him right now. That's a piece of cake to God. God, you can do anything. Only thing that God cannot do, he cannot lie. He, he, he cannot fail. God can take what seems impossible and make it the possible. Jesus is a healer. I do believe it. Jesus is a healer. And he heals all the time. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. There's no need to be afraid. Jesus is a healer. And he heals all the time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to believe that God will make arthritis disappear out of your body. That God will break the curse of cancer in the name of Jesus out of your body. That God will take asthma out of your body. That God is breaking the Masonic curses on my higher Mosata. Woo! Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now. We talked about those Masonic curses. A lot of rituals have been done and magic has been done, but God got more power than magic. Whoa, hallelujah. God's power is even greater than magic. He said, There's no weapon. That's formed against you, and that shall prosper when you get under the blood of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I fear the Holy Ghost. Don't gotta take no jug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe God can work miracles. He healed my body when I was in Harlem Hospital. I posed to have been dead when I was eight years old. I was born in Harlem, been preaching the gospel since I was a little child. The doctor said I posed to been dead when I was eight years old on the operation table. But Jesus healed my body. I know he's a healer. If God healed my body, God can heal you too. I'm not better than nobody. Many of you got cancer all in your family. I believe God can break the curse of cancer in the name of Jesus. But renounce the Masonic curses. Allow my Freemasons and Eastern stars who worship Baphomet, who looks like a demon. And it caused a generational curse in the offspring on the third and fourth and fifth generation. But Jesus got more power than the devil. He can break the curse. God can turn your tears into joy. Ha. Will you obey God's holy word? He said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. He said, I'll make you above only and not beneath. Will you obey God's holy commandments? He'll bless you. He'll bless you going in. He'll bless you going out. Just make sure when God bless you, don't forget about God and say, Lord, I thank you. In the year 2022, Jesus brought us through. In the year 2023, God gave us the victory. Now here in the year 2024, God will bless you some more. Woo! Hallelujah. God will restore your joy. God will restore your marriage, God will restore. He'll save your children. I know you've been molested. I know you've been sexually abused. You don't know who your father is. No wonder you've been depressed. But today, God will give you rest. There's a hope. Don't give up. You can make it. There is a hope, and that hope is in Jesus Christ. Don't have to take no dope. God is a great, great hope. You don't got to take no angel dust. And God, we ought to trust. You don't got to take no jug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. <laughs> Getting the Holy Ghost is even better than taking a jug overdose. Somebody been depressed, but God can give you rest. Hallelujah. There's a hope. I know the world is having a lot of problems. Every time you turn around, 
where you turn on the news, it's bad news. Sometimes I don't even like watching the news because there's always bad news. But we watch the news because we got to know what's going on in the world. Just the other day, a young man raped a girl 10 years old up in the Bronx. A young man came from Harlem. That's a shame. But he turned himself in. Young girl, 10 years old, was on the social media talking to a grown man and they met up somewhere and this grown man raped this little girl, only 10 years old, raped the minor. You got to monitor your children, what they watch on Instagram. You got to monitor your children, what they watch on social media, because the devil got a lot of things on social media, like Slender Man and all this sex stuff. And the devil knows what he's doing. He's trying to destroy your children. But habits come together and have church in your house. Church starts in your house. It's wonderful where you can have church in your house. Thank God for men who are taking care of their children. Thank God for the real men. Every man is not a sperm donor. We got some real men who are taking care of their children. We want to encourage the real men who's out here doing something positive. We need more men like you that's going to be there for the children. There's a lot of children who don't know who their father is. There's a lot of children who don't know who the daddy is because now the woman didn't have so many sex partners because you've been trying to search for love but all in the wrong places. So you got with this man and, and that man and the man been trying to search for love and you got with all these women. All you thought was lust. You thought she loved you. You thought he loved you, but all they wanted was sex. All they wanted was a one night stand. But when God gives you a man, he's going to give you a man who will hold you by your hand. And with Jesus, you both can stand. When God gives you a man or a woman in marriage, they are not a one night stand man or a one night stand woman. When God gives you a wife, she's not no knife. He'll give you a lifetime wife. God will give you a lifetime husband, not no one night stand man. I know one night stand woman because if they all if all they want is a one night stand, all they want is sex, and that's it. But when you love each other, love go beyond sex. The way he lost his job, she sticks with you through thick and thin, unto the end, unto death do part, for better or for worse. Hallelujah! That's what marriage is all about. That when the man lost his job, you're still there. That when the woman lost hope, you're still there. That's the same thing with Jesus. He said, you love me, keep my commandments. It's not easy getting into heaven. It's hard to get to heaven. <laughs> Ain't easy getting to heaven. Because we are not perfect. But God can help you get to heaven. Hallelujah. Ain't that right? God bless y'all this morning. Y'all too blessed to be stressed. Hallelujah. The devil tried to discourage us. But God said, be encouraged. He said, yea, do you walk through the valley of the shadow of death? Fear no evil. Because God is with you. Have no fear. Jesus is here. Hallelujah. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad he can sex her free. I'm so glad he can sex her free. Singing glory, hallelujah. He can sex her free. Let that me, let that me, let that me, let that me. God can save a drug addict and get him out the attic. God can save a drug dealer when they call on the faith healer. Jesus Christ, I'm so glad he can sex her free. Singing glory, hallelujah. He can sex her free. Bind the curse of cancer. In the name of Jesus, arthritis go. Cancer go. Asthma, go. Depression, go. Heal the broken heart. In the name of Jesus. Save somebody's soul and fill somebody with the Holy Ghost. And you don't have to take no drug overdose. Renounce those Masonic curses. Renounce Baphomet and say, I'm coming to Jesus. And Lord, forgive me for my sins. Lord, I made a mistake. But thank you, Lord, for shedding your blood on the tree. Ha, hallelujah. On the cross of Calvary. Jesus died on the cross for the lost. He can save you. He can save a drug addict. And get him out the attic and make him a preacher. Woo! 
God can save a man out of prison and make him a man of God. God can save a prostitute and make her a prophetess. Hallelujah. Because he loves you. He loves you. Now let's love one another. God don't hate black skin. God hates a black heart. Don't let love depart. God don't hate whites. God hate envy and strife. He hates the racism. God doesn't hate Indian, so give God thanksgiving. God can save a Jamaican. Yes, he can. God can save an Asian because God's grace is amazing. God can save a Puerto Rican. Yes, he can. He said for God, so love the world. It didn't say he liked racism. Because God's judgment is also in the world against all the witchcraft and the black magic and all the evil and all the devil worship. Because God is a God of judgment. The stage is being set for the Antichrist. The Antichrist is a deceiver. It talks about the Antichrist in the book of Revelations, chapter number 13. His number is 666. But Jesus is our Savior. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God don't want to see nobody perish in hell. We have enough hell here on earth. God wants you to go to heaven because he loves you. No, we're not perfect. We all make mistakes. But Jesus came to wash away our sins. When he shed his blood on the tree, on the cross of Calvary. Jesus said, I lay down my life. And I have the power to take it back up again. And that's just what he did. He arose on the third day morning. Yeah. Hallelujah. Renounce the demonic curses. We renounce the Masonic curses of cancer in the name of Jesus. Cancer disappear. Let our, let our sins disappear. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But this is the promise that God has for you and your children. Jesus is still the answer for America. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father but by me. The wages of sin is death. Romans chapter number 6, verse 23. But the gift of God is eternal life. Do Jesus Christ our Lord. Santa Claus cannot give you that gift. Because Santa Claus ain't nothing but the devil. Santa Claus means Satan. When he grip you in his cause. But Jesus came to deliver you out of the devil's cause. Renounce Masonic curses. We want to help you. Because God loves you. To me bad things happening. All them bad things not supposed to be happening. God want to make good things happen in your life. I know we're living in the world where we go through trials and tribulation. But when you're covered by the blood of Jesus, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. God will send angels to protect you. He said, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Put your eyes on the prize. Put your eyes on Jesus. Put God first when you're seeking first huh, of the kingdom of God. Huh, and all oh, his righteousness. And all oh, these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He in the ring. God will take away your pain. He in the ring. He in the ring. God will take away your pain. I know you got molested. I know you've been sexually abused. It's not your fault that you got abused, so don't blame yourself. You are not dirty. Jesus loves you. And today, God is going to heal your broken heart. Drugs cannot do it. Let the Lord give you a hug and he'll set you free from drugs. God's love can deliver you from drugs. Just confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that he was crucified. And God has raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. That whosoever calleth on the name of the Lord shall be saved. God is saving you right now. He's turning your tears into joy. Weeping, making dear for the night. But joy, 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 will come in the morning time. This is your time for joy. This is your time for peace. God is breaking generational curse. In the name of Jesus, it comes through repentance. If my people, which I call by my name, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, 
gotta humble yourself before you pray. Let me teach you. Pray and obey. Not just pray. Pray, tell somebody, pray and obey. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Pray and obey. Now God will answer. Seek my face. Don't seek the witch doctor. Don't seek the tyrant card reader. God shall regard not them who have familiar spirits. Neither seek after the wizards. Don't seek after Harry Potter. Fire in the Lord, your God. Wizards are male witches. God is against witchcraft. Read the book of Exodus chapter number 22, verse 18. God is against witchcraft. And black magic and evil voodoo. Those things make bad things happen. But God can break the curse when you throw away the Ouija boards and the Ouija boards. You begin to see how God begins to bless you. He'll bless you and your wife and your children. He'll bless you because he loves you. I don't want to see no bad things happen to people. I want to see good things happen to people. Hallelujah. When you seek, seek God's face and turn from the wicked ways. Let's stop the racism. Stop the child molestation. Renounce the Freemasons. And the Eastern stars, because they worship Baphomet. They do evil voodoo, even in church. Every church is not God's church. They got a lot of child molesters, even in the church. That's not God's church when they allow child molesters to be Catholic priests, even in the Pentecostal churches. You see all the scandals coming out, even in the Pentecostal churches. What's in the dark will come to the light. Woe be to the pastors. Who scatter my flock? Woe be to the pastors who destroy in my sheep. I will visit you for the evil of your doings. But God is going to restore. Hallelujah. He in the year of 2024. Many of you are backsliders, but come back to God. Jesus has open arms with love to embrace you with his love. Come back home. He's embracing you with his love. He says, seek my face. Turn from the wicked ways. Then God should ever come and hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. Whoa, hallelujah. Then God will bless you. And may show when God bless you. Say, Lord, I thank you. One day my dream is to preach in the NBA. <laughs> I grew up on Dr. J and Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan. You heard about Elgin and Bill. I used to play basketball myself up in Harlem where I was born at and did dunking contests. Was the highest jumper on my team. Now I'm jumping for Jesus. I don't jump as high as Jordan or Vince Carter. One day my dream was to preach up in the Super Bowl. They have a lot of satanic people doing the rituals at halftime in the Super Bowl doing the Satan worship. It's time to have a Holy Ghost revival up in the Super Bowl. It's time to have a Holy Ghost Bible revival up in the NBA. Let's have a Holy Ghost revival up in the streets and to see drug addicts get saved, to see prostitutes get saved, to see young men coming to Jesus, to see young women come to Jesus who got molested and say, what must I do to be saved? He loves you. And this preacher, you don't got to hate. I ain't got no collection plates. The love that God wants to give to you is for free. He already paid the price on the tree, on the cross of Calvary. And you do not need to take no LSD. Jesus came to set you free. And he'll give you power to stay free. And who the Son set free. Hallelujah. He's free indeed. God bless you. We pray for you handmaiden, all those on YouTube. We got your prayer request. We got you on the prayer list. We pray for you. Pray and obey. And live holy every day. Pray and obey. Are we perfect? No. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. But we're striving to be like Jesus. And he said, be ye perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Only God can help us in those areas where we are weak at. If you got a problem with lust, Jesus can deliver you. If you got a problem with pornography, Jesus can set you free. If you got a problem with liquor drinking or alcohol, many of you are drinking alcohol because you've been depressed. Jesus can give you rest. God got a better drink than calling liquor. I ain't Jack Daniels. That's the Holy Ghost. Shh. Don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. I feel Jesus. He gives you joy. 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 Joy unspeakable. Praise them saints. Praise them saints. When the praises ha, go up, the blessings will come down. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us on the cross. All around the world in Africa, Kenya, China, Germany, all around the world, all around America, America needs Jesus. I vote for Jesus. Hallelujah. But you got to want him. Everyone doesn't want him. Everyone doesn't believe in him. But Lord, I believe. I believe and I receive. Believe, receive, and serve him. A lot of folks just stop at believing. But God wants us to receive him. Not just believe him. After you receive him, he'll give you power to become the sons of God. Read the book of St. John chapter 1. Read the whole chapter. Now serve him and present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God. Holiness means to be set apart from the world. We are saved by grace and through faith. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. And the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Grace is God's unmerited favor. Jesus shed his blood on the tree, gave his life for you and me on the cross of Calvary. You don't have to take no LSD. Here in the year 2024, God can bless you with more. I want more Jesus. I want more Holy Ghost. Thank you. How about you? Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. You can see Bible prophecy coming to pass, y'all. The stage is being set for the Antichrist. But the rapture will take place. He's coming out of an hour that you think not. Be ready, my people. Be ready. Are you ready to meet God? Yeah, Lord. Be you ready. We shall be changed. We shall be changed. We shall be changed. Changed from immortal to immortality. In a twinkling of an eye. God got a holy city for you. God got a mansion for you. And I know you're being the shelter, but God will take you out the shelter. And he got a mansion for you. He said, my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, first he said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, believe in God. Believe also in me. Will you believe in God? You believe in Jesus. Will you believe in Jesus? You believe in God. Because he said, I am my father. I won. St. John chapter 10, verse 30. St. John chapter 14, verse 9. Jesus said, he that have seen me have seen the Father. St. John chapter 8, verse 58. Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. That's the same thing God told Moses through the burning bush. In Exodus chapter number 3, verse 14, we call him the Son of God because Jesus came a little lower than the angels according to Hebrews. Chapter number 2, he came in the human form because in order for God to die, God knew he could not die in his immortal form because he's a spirit and they that worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. A God cannot die because he's immortal. So God came wrapped up in human form through the Virgin Mary. Oh Lord. And the angel Gabriel told Mary, you shall have a son and his name shall be called Jesus and he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus said, I laid down my life. I have the power to take it back up again. Lord, St. Matthew chapter number 28, verse 18. Jesus said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He didn't say some. He said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. The only one who got all power is God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, don't gotta take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 1 said all things were made by him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He told Magdalene, trust me not, if I had not ascended yet to my father. I did some studies on that. It means that he had to show himself up in the temple as a high priest because Jesus now became my high priest. After he died on the cross and shed his blood. Many of y'all thought it was just talking about the ascension. Praise the Lord. But Jesus was not only just a prophet. But he's also our high priest. He's our redeemer. Yes, he came as a prophet. But he was much more than a prophet. He's a messiah. He's our redeemer. He's the king of kings. He's the lord of lords. He's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He said, I am the roots and the offspring of David. I am the bright and the morning star. Revelations chapter number 22. Jesus said, I am the first and the last. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 4. Same thing God said. 
with his name with Jehovah and came right to the human form as Yahshua HaMashiach. He's not our high priest. You can go directly to Jesus and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Wash my sins away. And he'll wash them away. You no longer have to go see a priest like they did under the law of Moses when they offer up lion's blood. God gave Moses 613 commandments according to the Hebrew Torah. As though we talk about the Ten Commandments in the King James Version of the Bible, basic instruction before leaving earth. But the law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. St. John chapter 1, verse 17. He was a father of creation of the Old Testament. He became the son of redemption in the New Testament. And now he's a Holy Ghost to the church. One Lord and one faith and one baptism. Hebrews chapter number 4. One in, one in three. Hallelujah. Three in one. One in three. But the one in the middle died for you and me. The son. He had to come in human form. That's why the Bible said he, he, he came a little lower than the angels, which means he came in human form. Angels are immortal. God came as a mortal to take our place to redeem us from our sins on the cross because a spirit cannot shed blood. But a body can shed blood. So he... See how simple that is to understand? At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Yeshua HaMashiach. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's power that's in that name, Jesus, Yeshua. His name don't mean hell, Zeus. Jesus, Jesus never talked about Zeus. Zeus is a myth, but Jesus Christ is the truth. He shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. St. John chapter 14, verse number 6. God bless you. We hope you enjoyed this word. We're praying for all of y'all in the YouTube land and all around the world. We got you on the prayer list. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our cash app is Flame of Fire. Eight, on the Pastor Warren Adams. And I go from the holy and heavenly Flame of Fire miracle church ministry. Street pastor, preacher Warren, and missionary Lady Basilla. And most of all, give your life to Jesus. He's saving you right now. He's healing your broken heart. Many of you out there have been suicidal. Don't kill yourself. Love yourself. You're somebody special to God. Don't love the wrong that you do. I love myself, but I don't love the wrong that I do. Repent from wrong, and God won't let you get no Omicron. Spiritual sin. We can love God first. He'll teach you how to love you. Don't love the sin. We all have sin. But, but Jesus can wash away our sins with his precious blood that he shed on the tree on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah! Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, for the remissions of sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Except a man be born again of the water and of the spirit, we cannot enter to the kingdom of God. St. John chapter 3, verse 3. Baptism represents cleansing. Hallelujah. We go in the water submerge in the water and come out the water in the newness of life it represents new birth if any man be in Christ he becomes a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new second chronic second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 God does a transformation when you receive God's holy information which is basic instruction before leaving earth the Bible when you receive God's holy information in your heart God can do a transformation He'll set you free. You don't got to kill yourself. God got a great plan for your life. You may not see it, but God got a great plan for your life. Just talk to God and say, Lord, what is your will for my life? Let your will be done. God bless you.